It's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can really quickly trim down a voice track within Final Cut Pro. So essentially, when you're creating voice intros or tutorials, you're going to end up with a lot of ums and ahs and pauses that you want to cut out quickly from the timeline in Final Cut Pro. And we're going to have a look at the key shortcuts that I use every day to do that. So we're going to dive right onto the Final Cut Pro timeline and have a look at how we do this. We've got our clip down on the timeline, and there's a few really good tips that we can use for trimming down this voice track. So the first is to have scrubbing turned on. So basically across on the right hand side, we want this first scrubbing button turned on. And the voice scrubbing is a little bit annoying. I tend to leave that turned off. We can see enough from scrubbing here and from the timeline audio waveform, enough to kind of be able to begin to trim down our audio track. So if you don't see the audio waveform, then just come across to this little button across on the right hand side. And here we can modify the appearance either to make the audio waveform bigger, smaller, or if we want, we can make it completely disappear. But for editing a voice track, we definitely want that audio waveform there. It's going to help us to find those spots. We've got scrubbing turned on. And the first thing we can do is use the range selection tool. So this range selection tool will allow us to select a range on our timeline and remove it. So we can quickly see that parts of this clip are completely useless. So I can select from here to here and press delete now if we don't want to select the range selection tool to select an area of our timeline like so then we can use the in and out shortcuts i and o to actually select a range on our timeline so i'm going to do that with just the selection tool selected so i've moved away from the range selection tool we've moved back to the select tool and then if i zoom in on my timeline a little bit i'm going to use command and plus to do that you can see I can really see where I'm talking and where I finish talking. So right here I can press I and then I can come to the next spot where I start talking and press O and we have our range selection. So without moving tools we can use I and O on the keyboard to select an in and out point which we can then delete. We can also do this while we're playing through as well. So if I'm playing through a track and I spot that there's a gap, I'm using K now held down on the keyboard and I'm tapping the J key to scrub back to where I want to start the delete. I'm going to press I there, we'll press L to play through, and then just before I start talking again, I'm going to pause it, we'll hold down K again and come back, and then here we can press O, and now I can delete that. So using the J, K, and L keys and the I and O keys on the keyboard, we can very quickly make a lot of these edits when we're working with a voice track. I also like to use the semicolon and apostrophe to move forwards and backwards to the previous edit. So I can see a bit of a gap here, and I've just used the semicolon to jump back. I can press I to mark an endpoint here, and then I can just scrub forwards to fine before I speak, and press O, and then delete, and we can then get that track working nicely. So we'll listen through this. Talking about trimming things down, you'll recognize this from the intro. And then we'll come to this, another big gap. So I'm going to, again, tap K to pause my playback. And again, I used L to play forwards. Press I to mark an endpoint, And then we can press L twice or three times. And that will fast forward through this empty section. I'm gathering my thoughts there, what to say next. So then we can use K and tap J to come backwards a bit. So the J, K, and L keys for moving around your timeline and the I and O keys for selecting areas of your timeline to delete those bits of voice track will be really useful to you when you're editing this kind of work in Final Cut Pro. You can also use Shift and Z now just to zoom to fit the whole timeline. You can see there's some other voice bits that I've missed back here. So I just press J to go backwards and I double tap J to rewind. So if I press O here, I can mark an out point before I mark my in point and then I can double tap J it will rewind, press K where I finish speaking, play forwards, and then pause. And press I to mark that empty section of the voice. And you can see now, kind of trim things down and got most of the voice track in there without any gaps. And I can then play that through and make any final edit. So we'll just get rid of this last little bit. Again, holding K and tapping L, delete. We can also use on a full keyboard the home button to come all the way back to the beginning. 
And I don't need to mark an endpoint in the beginning. I can just come to just before I start talking, press O and delete, and then we'll play through. We'll find this first gap. And my hand's not leaving the keyboard when I'm doing this. I'm just starting to dance around the keyboard. And once you get used to those shortcuts and become very adept at it, you can actually trim down these tracks very quickly. So it's a useful skill, super useful shortcuts within Final Cut Pro, especially if you're doing any voice work where you're wanting to speak, maybe you pause, maybe you arm, maybe you ard, and you've got to trim out to those errors, then the JKNL keys and the INO keys are super useful for moving around the timeline quickly and getting that edit nice and tight before you start to add effects and that type of thing. So I hope this is useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.